Hey guys, Geek Fandom here with a really cool review today. We'll be looking at the entire Frank Pool lineup from Concrete Jungle Studio. I came across these statues at New York Comic Con 2016. There was a pretty cool booth called Tenacious Toys where they have independent artists that sell their items there. It could be anything from you know, illustrations to vinyl toys to, to statues. So the red one on the left was the first one to be released and has an edition size of 100. The one in the middle, the gray one, was the New York Comic Con 2016 exclusive. Only 10 were made. And then on the right is the blackout version, which was just another limited exclusive that 10 of these were made also. The first thing that blew me away about this piece is the beautiful art box it came in. The front of the box is illustrated to look like a comic book. In the upper left hand corner you have the number of the issue. This box is the one for the 2016 New York exclusive one, so there's a sticker on it. The box for the non-exclusive looks exactly the same though. The back of the box has a, a nice comic art panel. Now these characters are based off of his animated web series. His name is Steve Cartoccio. So this character is his main character, Frank, who's a bulldog from his show. Let's start off by taking a closer look at the red Frank pool. This is an edition size of 100 and it stands around nine inches tall. The first thing I liked when I opened the packaging was that it's resin. like how it feels. It feels like a statue. It has heft to it. If you drop it, yes, it's going to break, but it doesn't have a plasticky or a toy feel to it whatsoever. The other big thing about it is that most of the pieces are in our magnetic. When I look at some of the higher end companies, your XM Studio, your side shows, some of the nicest statues have magnetic pieces, which has a couple of reasons. It's better to package it. You don't have these odd dimensions or a very big piece that is getting boxed up and you have they have weak spots or places where they could potentially break. The other thing is you could find people who could do commission work and potentially make you a different portrait, different arms, different pieces. It, it just gives you the opportunity to make your pieces even more unique. So both arms on this piece have magnets in it and they're very strong. On the back, we have the swords. Let's also have a magnet in it. And then of course, the portrait itself has a magnet too. And what's great about this set is that he actually includes three portraits with each piece. Very strong magnet. I could practically, look, I could actually pick it up from the magnet without a dropping. That's great. You don't have to worry about it eventually it falling off or anything like that. And all the pieces that have the magnets in it feel the same thing. I've had this sitting in the cabinet for a year, never tipped over, never had a piece fall out. And that's just a sign of great craftsmanship. Paintwork on this is amazing. I like that they use a gloss finish on certain areas and a matte finish on certain areas. The reason why anything that is matte or flat will have a tendency to absorb light as where gloss will generally reflect light. So if you have this in a cabinet and you have lights either hitting it or light shining directly on it, you'll, you'll usually get a lot of reflections with straight out gloss. With the matte combination though, it should absorb some and you'll get some nice shadows and you'll get to see some nice detail in it too. So the head has a combination of matte and gloss texture to it. The matte side, once again, is a little bit on the rough side and the gloss will be smooth, which is nice because it gives you, you can see dimensions and shadows, not just one solid red blob. Get down to the armor area. It's black. It feels like it's a shellac or gloss finish again. It has grooves into it and it's, and everything on this is sculpted and it just, looks great. You could actually see the difference between the shirt to the body, to the armor, to the gun holsters. 
The gun holsters also on here are all molded. And these are some of the little touches that I just noticed recently. I didn't even realize they have little rivets, which aren't even real rivets. They're painted and molded in there, so it actually makes it look like the belt and the holster areas are actually real pieces of material. The pouch is too. Little rivet to close the satchel. Just the front, you have the little Frank Pole, a la Deadpool logo in the front. And you can see they even made little seams in it. So he's actually looked like he's in a uniform. The guns painted a nice gunmetal gray on this edition. And we have a knife in the boot holster on the left leg. And the third head is an unmasked burnt Frank Pohl face. And once again, the paint application and the textures on it are amazing. You can feel very rough abrasive painting on the face if it's charcoal. And then the underneath that would be the bone or the bottom layer of the skin. It actually has depth to it too. I think all the heads on this are great. They did a really good job. The other thing I like about it, each piece is numbered and signed, and it's usually on the foot. As you can see, let's turn it this way. It has Steven's signature, and this is eight out of 100. And the art box is also numbered to match. Over to the, this is the New York Comic Con 2016 exclusive edition. And even though it's the same statue, it's a completely different paint variation, which I like. Other than the black, he used completely different colors. With the red one, it had white eyes. This one has the red eyes. All the unmasked portraits still have the same yellow eyes. They're exactly the same. The pouches, the strapping and, and the harnesses, everything's a black color. And even the swords and the hilts on the swords, he went with a different color. This is 5 out of 10. Here's the portraits that come with it. We have the full mask and the unmasked. As well as the half mask that's on it. And lastly comes a special edition he recently put out. Another edition size of just 10. This is a blackout pool. This was completely different because the color scheme is all uniform, completely black. Even the art box was different. So this was a cool little addition to get. Still based off the same statue, but a couple of key differences. So we have matte black with gloss black for everything. That's the whole schema. The yellow eyes instead of the red and the white. All the pouches, all the harnesses and the belts, the handles, the blades, the swords, everything's a nice dark matte black. Hence the name, this is called Frank Pool Blackout. Just notice he even did his tail black, which is kind of funny. And again, the piece is assigned. This one was 9 out of 10. So a couple of months ago, I contacted Steve again and I expressed to him how much I enjoy his work and want to know if he would do any type of commission work. I thought it'd be kind of a cool idea if I could get my actual dog's heads on his statues. Send him pictures of what I needed. And in a very short time, this is what he sent me. Spots in the back of the ears. And this is the most impressive stuff. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. She has a lot of pink, so she's a white pity. The pink hue around the eyes and the nose. I mean, it looks exactly like her. Not only that, in comparison to the to the other heads, he just didn't take the same mold and just paint it to your scheme. The ears, everything's molded. The only thing that must be the same is the housing for the magnet and the actual size to fit in and how it has to sit on the bottom. You know, so probably the, the length or the depth from the back of the head to possibly the neck. But it is visibly a completely different head. 
he signs it, and this time I have something that's one of one. And not only does he sign it, but with these commission heads, he actually hand paints them. So this is one of one, and it is hand painted by him. And now I have my Luna pool. And since she's a girl, I decided to put her in the red. And since I have two dogs, I didn't want to stop there. So I sent them other pictures of my other dog, who's Dexter. There's a little beagle mix. And this is what I got. I don't know if you could see, but the eyes. How someone could capture the eyes of an animal so perfectly the droopiness, the, the brown, the white in his face. And then I'm with him, he has little spots in the back of the neck, so everything. And also, as you can see, the ears on him are different than anyone else. So this is all completely molded, sculpted, and hand-painted. Now, I went from these being to some of my favorite pieces in my collection to being my absolute favorite. Because now, instead of a, a 1 out of 100, a 1 out of a 10, this is a complete unique thing now. Now it's 1 out of 1. He now has this service listed on his website. I think it's very cool, very different. So in order to actually get a custom portrait, you need to have one of his Frank Poole statues. He also has two other statues in the line that he'll also do custom heads on. I'll be reviewing those sometime next week. The original Frank Pool is a series of 100, and that's still available. And it runs about 145, 150. So it's a, a great price point, whether you're a new collector or an existing collector, to have a piece that has this many swap out parts and this quality for 150 or under. And I believe you even include shipping is amazing. The New York 2016 Comic Con version is only 10 and all 10 are sold out. So unfortunately, unless someone happens to resell theirs, that, that's it. And then the Blackpool, also the same thing. It's an edition size of 10 and unfortunately that's also sold out. So if you're interested in one, Frank Pool is still available and you will get all three heads with that. So wrap up, our two things we usually judge on is value and quality. Value for a Frank Pool, his website, I believe, it's still at 145, which includes shipping. You have a nine inch resin statue, beautiful paint job, and three swap out portraits. It's a five out of five all day. Quality wise, you know, great paint job. Sculpt is fantastic. Everything about it is top notch. You feel like you're definitely getting every dollar's worth. It's so a five out of five. It's an overall five out of five, you know, for a $150 price tag. If you're a new collector or existing collector, if you're a statue fan, a pet fan, or an animation fan, go check out his site. His web series is actually really funny, Concrete Jungle Studio. So please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, please leave below. I always get back to people rather quickly. Thank you and happy collecting.